In this video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to find the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. And these are the formulas that you need to know. The first one, the derivative of arc sine u is equal to u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. And then we have the derivative of arc cosine u is equal to negative u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. Next is the derivative of arc tangent u is equal to u prime over 1 plus u square. And the fourth one is the derivative of arc cosecant u is equal to negative u prime over absolute value of u times square root of u square minus 1. And then, the derivative of arc second u is equal to u prime over absolute value of u times square root of u square minus 1. And the last one is the derivative of arc cotangent u equals negative u prime over 1 plus u square. So these are the formulas that you need to remember in order for us to find the derivatives of a inverse trigonometric functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On number 1, what is the derivative of arc sine x cubed? The derivative of arc sine is u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. So let us identify the value of u, and that's x cubed. And then let us have u prime, that is the derivative of x cubed, and that is 3x squared. So to simplify, let us have u prime, that is 3x squared over square root of 1 minus u, and that's x cubed raised to 2. And to write our final answer, we are going to have 3 x square over square root of 1 minus x cubed raised to 2, and that's x raised to 6, and this will be our answer. On number 2, what is the derivative of arc cosine 5x minus 9? So the derivative of arc cosine is negative u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. So let us have u, and that is 5x minus 9, and then u prime, that is the derivative of 5x minus 9, and that is 5. So let us have negative u prime, that is 5, and then square root of 1 minus u, and that is 5x minus 9 square. So let us simplify this one. Let us have negative 5 over square root of 1 minus the quantity of 5x minus 9, and then square. So we have a square binomial, 5x multiplied by itself, and that's 25x squared. And then 5x multiplied by negative 9, and that is negative 45x. Multiplied by the constant 2, and that's 90x. And then negative 9 multiplied by itself, that is positive 81. And then let us distribute the negative sign. So let us have negative 5 over square root of 1 minus 25x squared plus 90x minus 81. And then after that, let us subtract this one. So our final answer will be negative 5 over square root of negative 25x squared plus 90x, and then 1 minus 81, and that's negative 80. And this will be our answer. On number 3, what is the derivative of arc tangent square root of x? So the derivative of arc tangent is u prime over 1 plus u square. So let us identify the value of u, and that is square root of x or you can write as x raised to 1 half. So therefore, u prime, that is the derivative of x raised to 1 half, and that is 1 half x, and then 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. So to simplify, let us have 1 over 2 x raised to positive 1 half, or you can write as 1 over 2 square root of x. And to rationalize, let us have square root of x. So 1 multiplied by square root of x, that is square root of x. And then 
2 and then square root of x multiplied by itself that is x so this will be the value of u prime so let us have u prime and that is square root of x over 2x over 1 plus u and that is square root of x raised to 2 so let us have square root of x over 2x divide by 1 plus let us cancel this one it will give us x and to write our final answer let us multiply 2x and 1 plus x so this will be the square root of x over 2x times 1 plus x so you can distribute this one let us have square root of x over 2x multiplied by 1 and that's 2x and 2x multiplied by x is 2x square and this will be our answer on number four what is the derivative of arc cotangent square root of x plus 1 the derivative of arc cotangent is negative u prime over 1 plus u square so let us have u and that is square root of x plus 1 or it can be written as quantity x plus 1 raised to positive 1 half and then u prime that is the derivative of x plus 1 raised to 1 half so let us have 1 half x plus 1 1 half minus 1 that is negative 1 half so to simplify our answer will be 1 over 2 times x plus 1 raised to positive 1 half we eliminate the negative sign it will give us positive 1 half on the denominator and then let us have 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1 let us rationalize this one by multiplying the numerator and denominator by x plus 1 so this will be square root of x plus 1 divided by 2 and square root of x plus 1 times 2 itself that is x plus 1 and then to simplify we have square root of x plus 1 over 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 1 is 2 so this will be the value of u prime and then let us substitute the formula so we have negative and then u prime that is square root of x plus 1 over 2x plus 2 divide by 1 plus u and that is square root of x plus 1 then square so let us have negative square root of x plus 1 over 2x plus 2 so we can cancel this one and we can add 1 and 1 it will give us x plus 2 so therefore let us multiply 2x plus 2 and x plus 2 so let us have negative square root of x plus 1 over 2x multiplied by x and that is 2x square and 2x multiplied by 2 that is 4x and 2 times x that is 2x and 2 times 2 is 4 so let us combine like terms to write our final answer let us have negative square root of x plus 1 over 2x square let us combine this one 4x plus 2x and that is 6x plus 4 and this will be our answer on number 5 what's the derivative of arc cosecant x raised to 4 so the derivative of arc cosecant is negative u prime over absolute value of u times square root of u square minus 1 so let us have the value of u and that is x raised to the 4 and u prime that is the derivative of x raised to 4 so we are going to have 4x cubed and then let us have negative u prime so it will give us negative 4x raised to 3 over absolute value of u and that is absolute value of x raised to 4 times square root of u square so we have x raised to 4 raised to 2 minus 1 so we can cancel x cubed and x raised to 4 so it will give us negative 4 
over absolute value of x times square root of x raised to 4 raised to 2, that is x raised to 8 minus 1. And this will be our answer. On number 6, what is the derivative of arc secant x cubed plus 2? So the derivative of arc secant, that is positive u prime over absolute value of u times square root of u square minus 1. So let us have u, that is x cubed plus 2, and u prime, that is the derivative of x cubed plus 2, and that is 3x square. So let us have u prime, and that is 3x square over u, that is absolute value of x cubed plus 2 times square root of x cubed plus 2 raised to 2 minus 1. So let us have 3x square over absolute value of x cubed plus 2. And then we have a square root binomial x cubed multiplied by itself that is x raised to 6. And then x cubed times 2, that is 2x cubed times the constant 2, that is 4x cubed. And then 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4 minus 1. So therefore, let us have 3x squared over absolute value of x cubed plus 2 times square root of x raised to 6 plus 4x cubed. 4 minus 1, that is 3. And this will be our answer. On number 7, what is the derivative of quantity arc sine 4x raised to 2? So as you can see, we have a chain rule. So we are going to have 2 times arc sine 4x raised to 1. And then, let us have the derivative of inside. So the derivative of arc sine is u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. And the value of u, that is 4x, and u prime, that is the derivative of 4x, and that is 4. So let us have 2 times arc sine 4x. Multiply by u prime, that is 4, over square root of 1 minus u, that is 4x raised to 2. And to write our final answer, we are going to have 2 multiplied by 4, that is 8, arc sine 4x over square root of 1 minus 4x raised to 2, that is 16x square. And this will be our answer. On number 8, what is the derivative of arc cosine sine x? So the derivative of arc cosine is negative u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. So let us have the value of u, and that is sine x. And u prime, that is the derivative of sine x, and that is cosine x. So let us have negative and then u prime. So we have negative cosine x over square root of 1 minus u, that is sine x raised to 2. So simplify, let us write negative cosine x over square root of 1 minus sine square x. And we all know that we have an identity sine square x plus cosine square x equals 1. If we are going to write sine square x on the other side, we are going to have cosine square x equals to 1 minus sine square x. So the value of 1 minus sine square x is cosine square x. So therefore, we are going to have negative cosine x over square root of cosine square x. So let us have the square root of cosine square x. So let us have negative cosine x 
over the square root of cosine square x, and that is cosine x. And cosine divide by itself, then we have a negative, that's negative 1. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.